Hi everyone, just diving into Holo Chain, uh, hot, tickers hot USDT. Um, once again, thank you for your continued support across the board here for Coins Kid. I really do appreciate all the really nice comments and everything that you do to contribute towards the growth of Coins Kid. It's really good, thank you. So going to dive into hot right now. Uh, believe it or not, I'm seeing good things and you might think what well, are you mad but yeah I'm, I'm seeing relatively good things here okay we are holding this key level of support on the 55 ema this is on the daily time frame like i said to you if in doubt zoom out and that's what you gotta, if you zoomed in sometimes it looks scary you zoom out and you get a level of reassurance so if in doubt zoom out remember that saying okay if in doubt zoom out we're looking perfectly healthy on the daily time frame and that's the truth of the matter okay we're looking perfectly healthy and we're actually forming quite a nice little pattern on the on the daily at the moment we're in some kind of a falling wedge right now okay which which is actually a very bullish reversal kind of pattern that we've got going on and not only that we are conforming to this higher high higher lows here and we're, we're hugging this 55 ema daily uh time frame here do you see this we're hugging this red line here we're bouncing off it support but what we're doing as well we're making these high lows do you see this we're making these high lows just like that which is good it's golden it means that the support's still there okay so what we need to see now is a breakout from this falling wedge for hot hopefully to the upside and again full clarity for you these things can break down and this is why i show you the support targets now one thing that's really I'm, I'm really liking here to be honest with you is this you see this here at the bottom this is called the volume and it's tailing off it's tailing off while falling in a falling wedge which shows that a breakout is imminent the more you see the volume tailing off like that the more you see a break just like here and i'm going to go through this previous um cycle with you here because this was a very similar situation when you got overextended from the emas on the daily time frame you started to come back looked like you was collapsing but in fact you was for forming a very bullish reversal pattern falling wedge do you see that and once you broke out you look at the tailing volume tailing volume tailing volume broke out look at the volume that come in just there do you see that again you got the same situation you got all that volume there then it's tailing off tailing off tailing off and all of a sudden you just see a breakout so that's why my outlook and i do i put it on the thumbnails and everything that i'm still bullish and that's why i still say to you i'm still bullish because until we start rolling through this 55 ema okay on a daily time frame and slinging it over your shoulders and forming bearish crosses like this I'm still bullish. We're still sat on the beach drinking our pina colada because we've got the signal down here that the golden cross on the on the daily time frame here was the big buy and go to the beach signal from Coins Kid, okay? That's the signal. Buy and go to the beach. Go and sit on that beach and drink your pina colada and wait for that death cross, which will come. It will come, okay? And when it comes, that's your signal to, to sell and get a job. <laughs> no, I'm joking, but it's sell and take your profits, basically. Not financial advice. These are just the signals that we deliver in the channel, okay? So at the moment, you're still sat on the beach drinking your pina colada, and it's all good because you're forming a beautiful reversal pattern, a bearish, a, 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 a falling wedge, basically. You've got depleting volume, okay, which is always indicative of a breakout. You've got a previous price action here, which shows you uh, falling wedge what happened Depe depleting volume just there do you see that depleting volume just there and then you got the break do you see that break there and then you broke out and what did you do you went up some do you see that because the target is when you when you form a falling wedge the target when you break out to the upside is you, you fall back you basically go back up to where you formed the, the the falling wedge which in this case was there do you see that so that target was met and when it got there it absolutely bolted up so that's why I'm anticipating a full recovery for, for hot and I'm um, just saying hold tight basically uh, you would have had people buying up here and when I first made the videos I did say to you never get involved in crypto that's overshot overextended okay that's parabola that's FOMO don't get involved in that wait for the back test of support make sure you get that clarification of support that's confluence to the fact because personally you know hot comes down here starts to bounce happy days because you're looking you're looking at a beautiful beautiful long trade there up to that of 100 percent just to get to the previous all-time high but i am actually anticipating a future price appreciation there for hot and you would have seen that in a previous video but what i'm going to do i don't think i've actually done this yet i'm going to drop the fib on this just to show you the potential of where hot could get to okay because basically right now you can see it's almost bottomed out
bottom man. It's it's hooking the 55. Again, if you do start to fall through that, you'll be falling out of the falling wedge, and you'll be taking them EMAs over your shoulder, and you'll be creating that bearish cross, and that's your big signal to to sell and go to the beach bait or sell and get a job. But anyway, uh, hopefully we get the bounce here, and we we start to march onwards and upwards and approach that previous all-time high. Because if we do, and we find this level of support right now off this 55. You've got a nice price prediction here for, for hot and that is it okay now what i want to say to you full clarification here i don't anticipate that we will get to the 1618 we probably will do in time but i think that the next impulsive wave is it, is it starts to creep up and obviously you've got to get through these levels of resistance right here as you break out of this falling wedge uh, obviously get to that previous all-time high but then when we do march up i would expect us to hit a head there and that's purely because we fell through this yellow line which is a 20 EMA so it makes the next impulsive wave a little bit more extinguished okay just like you can see here I'll just explain it to you and like, like I said to you if in that always zoom out so you can see just there when when hot went up it went up there and fell through the EMAs okay and then the next impulsive wave was not very that strong you can see that straight off the bat it was not that strong topped out come back down where did it rest it rests on the previous swing high do you see that and that's another lesson that i always tell people when things go up it's fallen on the previous swing high that's really really good and really strong for continuation then you can see because it bounced off the yellow line just here okay because it went up and bounced off the yellow line it was a really strong uptrend and you can see the next impulsive wave was really strong okay then it came back bounced off the yellow line again didn't fall through the support of the yellow line which is 20 ma you could see the next impulsive wave was really strong again okay and then again it fell back onto the yellow line and then you can see the final wave here which hot has just gone through before this extra long level of consolidation was extremely overextended and hence that's why you've come back and you're looking for support on the 55 ema there and you've got it you've got it so far and it's good it's golden for continuation providing you don't lose this 55 and fall out of it you are looking at a nice rebound here for hot up to its previous all-time high and that price prediction just up there so personally uh i will tell you my trade um obviously you can get things called uh, throwbacks and want to make you aware of that as well uh, if hot was to sort of break out here you could get something called like a throwback it's basically a fake out so do anticipate that where it starts to pump up and let's go yay you're off to races no and then it rolls over that's also something that i want to educate you in the channel with it's called a throwback and it's basically reverse so it's it's like a cheeky little fake out and people jump in with the longs and stuff like that so you do want to see it sort of come out back test it a support sort of march on a little bit before even anticipating a long position there because i do think that once it does start to do that and, and come out and, and it's confidence of the fact that it is marching up and going on you could look at a nice little uh, long trade there you know up to the new all-time high around 166 percent for, for hot so that's basically hot um just a quick little update for you just a level of reassurance that you are still bullish even though it is breaking down it's breaking down to key levels of support and it's currently holding so it's all good it's all good it's all good uh it's perfectly perfectly healthy okay do stay strong stay safe and most importantly stay tuned and i'll be back tomorrow with another update on hot bye bye